Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Industrial Faith, and welcome to episode one of Fallout New Vegas. If you see before us this little uh, urchin is little Emily. She's going to be our hero for this playthrough. She is a ghoul, and she is after what every good courier is. Her package, and the man in the checker jacket, who took the chip. Without further ado, let's begin. We begin our journey here in the town of Good Springs. And, like any good adventure, well, you come back from the dead. Now, I have a mod in this called Tuckered Out, where if I run, my character will tire out easily. Now, I'm going to kind of follow the, the game, the course, the course of the game. However, I'm going to go where I will. This game also has a mod attached called A World of Pain, which adds 114 new areas to the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to run around we're going to explore these things. And first off, we're going to explore Good Springs. I know, not very exciting. Let's see what's on the radio. Yes, I know there's a radio. A radio, can you believe that? What do we have here? Howdy. My name is Jed Masterson. Welcome back, Lee. Has your life taken a turn? Do troubles beset you? Okay, forget it. It is a lonely, lonely world out here. And we are going to find the stuff. We're going to find everything. What I may do is I may cut out the unexciting bits. This looks really good. Oof. Because I'm sure you really don't want me to, to see me running around and doing all kinds of shenanigans. However, the sewer up here... It's kind of an interesting place, and it leads to another place. Joggity jug, jug, jug. That's right, the Good Spring Sewer. Anything in the crate? No. All right. Let's go into the sewer. Down into the dank, dark sewer where the rats are. Oh my. Where is the flashlight? Oh my goodness. Hold on. There it is. Alright. Let's go say hi to the neighbors. And oof. Wow. A bear trap. It is so dark down here. Let me... Well, it really didn't do much, but I have a flashlight, and I've got this. I could use some night vision goggles. First up on our list of stuff to find, night owl. That sucked ass. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. This is ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Oh. And I have another mod on here called Bullet Time. Oops. Do I hear somebody? So dark. So dark. Oh, it's still hideously dark in here. But, you know what? It's a sewer. It's supposed to be dark. Anything? The vending machine? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Nuka-Cola. We can drink that. Uh, electronics? Hey... I'm going to be leaving the electronics here and stuff. It's just terrible. What? I, well, it's a sewer. I mean, what are we expecting? What am I expecting? It's dark. Don't be afraid, Emily. And then we get the... the uh, okay. No! Ah! That was my favorite bobby pin. All right, my other favorite bobby pin. Ooh. Anything good? To enter bats. There's like, I can hear the rats in the walls. You know, let's just shut the door. I don't need the rats coming in after me. God, how annoying. Anything good? Um, 
uh, let's see. Ooh, 357 Magnum rounds. Hopefully I can find a good gun. One of the things that's fun about this character is this character, because she's a ghoul, is really weak. I've made her weak. She's technically... Little Emily became a ghoul when she was a child a long time ago. So she only has a strength 3, but ghoulishness has raised her stats to other heights. And, obviously, she is... Because she's a ghoul, she's lucky. Do we want that truck? Do I want the Nuka Cola truck? Yes, we will put the Nuka Cola truck somewhere. Is there anything in here in the back? In the sewer? In the back of the sewer? No. I'm just gonna wander up here and be like, what up, G? Well, this place is rumored to be. Ugh, oh, I really gotta stop. <laughs> again. I got it by the door again. Emily. Watch out. So this is, wow. This is crazy dark. This is spooky dark. Oh, well, open away from me, that's nice. All right. Do I have any other guns? I think I have, oh, it's so dark. I'm glad my flashlight doesn't run out of power. If this were Half-Life 2, I'd be hiding in a corner somewhere. Wait for my flashlight to recharge. Oh, for the love of God. Do I have any other weapons? Oh, so dark. So dark. I have a 9mm submachine gun. Can I repair that? Alright, we repaired it. I have. Ugh, crap for ammo. I should have bought some ammo. Back to the shop. Oh, God. That's okay. I've got to rebind the, the light. Show! Darn rats. We need to clean this sewer. It's like. Oh, listen to him. Oh, it turned my radar on. Hi. Ow! Get away from me. No rats. I'm afraid of them. Now, I'm healing because I'm a ghoul. Ghouls have uh, regeneration. Oh, bullet time, baby. Bullet time. Headshot. Oh, God. Here it comes. Ow. Giant mole rats are also very cowardly. Good God. What's with these guys? Jeez, I mean, really? Ugh. So gonna get a flashlight. This pit boy light is terrible. Now, I don't actually have the pit boy. I have a radius. What's called the radius mod. Radius mod. And it puts. gives you a pit boy that doesn't look like a pit boy. Oh, good heavens. I wonder what's in here. I only have 22 shells left. Oh, please. Tons of naked mole rats. Hello? You there? Um, oh god. Oh, look, the cat dragged in. Headshot! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Woo, look out! All right! Camera, what are you doing? Ow, 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 ow. Ow. This regen might be a little too strong here. What is that freaking crazy noise? Are you in the water? I was not aware mole rats swim. How they don't surf and mole rats don't swim. How did she get down here? 
Get out of the water. No. Pool's closed. Come on. Anyone else? I know your buddy's coming. Oh, you're coming back, ain't you? What are you wearing, Wastelander? What are you doing? A bottle cap. Ooh, right away. A lead pipe. What are you doing? Smoking a bomb? Oh, thank goodness she's not naked. I will sell your clothes, though. Come here. This is so spooky. Spooky! All right, scrap metal, sure. Because that's not made entirely of metal. I mean, really, I should be able to break down that tool cabinet. Tire iron. Golf club, maybe. I can hit somebody with it. Mm. Oh, all right, I'm gonna have to go to first person for this and grab the, anything else? Ah, nope. Anyone? 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 Guess not. No computer for you, my lad. I think there's something down in the water. I think there's a couple somethings down in the water. Let's go kill that frickin' mole rat first. Where's your buddy? Where is your buddy? Your douchebag the mole rat. Man, I need some... Oof. Eleven rounds. I'm in trouble. Take you with me. Oh! Ooh! <laughs> ah, I didn't expect that one. <laughs> oh my. Hello, how are you doing today? I really should have bought some ammo. I may have to go leave the dungeon and buy some ammo. Because there's an entire. I've only. There's a little bit more in here. Not a whole lot. There's some down there. There's a couple more rats down here. There's that, there's that door. I think there's a safe down. Whoa, yep, see, there's dudes over here. You can hear them. Come on, come on. Vondaglue! Oh. Say hi. What else do I have? Oh, no, forget it. We're just gonna... Ow. Quit it. Ow, get off. Get off. Jeez. Seriously. Whoop, leveled. Hooray! All right. Is that how you level? How do you level? I forget. Oh, wait, that's right. As soon as I'm out of combat. Oh, shoot. Really got to rebind that light. In between this and the second episode, I'm gonna go find a uh, find a mod that gives me like a non craptastic light bulb or flashlight or something. Do -do -do -do. There is a door over here. It's so dark. This is so. I'm. I don't know how dark it is for you guys, but it's really kind of dark. Come on. Ooh. Ah. What do we got in here? We have a pad of paper, five pins. Not be confused with any other pins. Nine mil rounds, hollow points. Hate that. This is the worst thing ever. An empty gun cabinet. Seriously. Seriously. Just the worst. What do we this? Cheap on what do we this? No, we can't go through here. Even though it's flooded. And enter vats. To enter vats, hit the button. I'm not in the button. Can't go through here. Too bad. There are actually a lot, plenty and plenty of dungeons to go into. Shh. There's rats. There's rats in the waterway. Ugh, hate these guys. All right, well, I'm going to leave El Dungeonio and then we're going to get over to the... Did, it, did I shut that door behind me? Yeah, let's shut the door. It's always good to be uh, courteous and close the door behind you. Uh, I know the surviving naked mole rats do not want uh, interruption as they do their, uh, you know, mole ratty things. 
Uh, just courtesy, be nice to your uh, local dungeon denizens. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn off that, and we will open the ladder up to the Mojave Wasteland. And we, oops, oh, there's our level. Now, I also have a mod which uh, goes back to the old Fallout. Uh, actually, it goes back to the old Fallout method of uh, two skills. So I have sneak. Oh, shoot. Forgot I had sneak. Let's get guns up. Ooh, junk rounds, survive a light touch. Uh Black Widow. Black Widow. Uh oh, friend of the night. Ooh. I get intense training. Oh, I could put a single point in like strength, something rapid reloads good, retention's good. Hmm. No. I really like Friend of the night. Friend of the night! But let's go with rapid reload because. Oof, and now it looks all washed out. Alright, I've really got to fix this. Oops, sorry. Do, 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 one moment. Okay, the reason everything's so dark is I have a mod called Fellout. And it is something that makes the sky look like it should. I actually live in a desert, the desert, I live in the Sonoran Desert, which is south of the Mojave Desert, which is where we are running about in right now. And it looks like this. It's, it's not that crazy ass orange you always see with, uh, that you see normally in game. This is the joys of modding a game, is that, well, you can make it look like it should. Um, now. It's not this dry. <laughs> well, northern Nevada is, and we're kind of, uh, well, we're not exactly northern Nevada. Now, where we're going here as we're jogging along is there is a gun shop down the road. Uh, if you see the Mojave Q shop, that's part of the mod that enables me to play a child ghoul. As, uh, and if you see, we've got armed guards. She looks all fancy. Um, there's really not much in there except stuff to buy, and I just put that there so I can buy the goggles and the mask. Or I should the shemog. Because, well, if you're a ghoul, you should hide your face. I mean, really, you're kind of hideous. So if you see right over the rise there to the left of the street sign, there's that, there's this little building here. Now, with any luck, we won't run into any roaches. With any luck, we won't run into any rad roaches. Not that rad roaches are terrible. See the coyotes off in the distance? Hello, coyotes! Can you hear that? That's my mod. That's tuckered out. I'm running, and if you notice I'm running a little bit slower, I'm getting tired. It's fantastic. Now, it's really good for single-player immersion, but it's terrible for something like this because you don't want to watch this crap. But, oops, sorry, if you crouch, you rest. And you can walk and rest too, but we're gonna run in the store. It's Frankie's guns, baby! Here, let's go look at the sign. Frankie's guns and ammo! With the robot at the door. Hey, what's up? Move along, please. Hello. Protect hey. and serve. Hey, Rusty. How you doing, buddy? Protect and serve. Like, serve what, ice cream? Protect and serve. I mean, we can protect the ice cream down with that. All right, let's go talk to Frankie. Frankie! Now, Frankie has an assistant. A heavily armed assistant. Don't dick with her. Now, the fun part is all these weapons are available for sale. Don't steal them. Let's talk to Frankie. Frankie! Hello, and welcome to Frankie's Guns and Ammo. Or, you know, I don't know why he has a, a British accent. Hello. Who are you? Name's Frank and I run this air gun shop. Now what can I do for you? Do you know if there's any free houses around here? I'm asking for freebies in a wasteland? As a matter of fact, I do, but I gotta tell you, I ain't going to cheap. This place full of stuff to function in pre-war tech. I promised the owner I wouldn't let it go for less than 5,000 caps. Uh, let's see what you have in stock, Frank. Sure, here you go. Alrighty, let's start by seeing, got a 38, that's great. Oh, a caravan shotgun. Ooh, and it's the M. 
One of the mods I have, the the M's are the master variants. So sturdy caravan shotgun, 41, about 6.2 times 7. This is 5.9 times 7. Really? 6.2 times 7? 5.9 times 7? 63 and 44. I wonder why. Hmm. And I get leather armor and all kinds of cool stuff. I get reinforced leather armor. Look really pimp. Um, this will increase my medicine skill. Absolutely. Anything else? I'll take the weapon repair kits. Um, ooh, high quality. See, eventually I'm going to get a 357 revolver. There's one I'm going to find. I'll take that. Brush gun. Forged receiver. Did I really see that? Durability. Primer, primer, primer. Service rifle forged receiver. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. I know why that's there. Okay, so we're going to buy the 20 gauge rounds. All of them. All of them. Why? Because we need them. Now, we could buy the 5.56 rounds too, and we will actually, because we are planning for the future. The future. The future is here. We don't care about the 9 mil or the laser pistol. We're gonna keep the grenade rifle because we can. Um, what do I wanna get rid of? Aid, no, I'm missing. Did I sell that weapon already? Yeah, it looks like I did. So, if we're looking here, so what, this, again, is an investment in the future. So, weapon repair kit. What else? I'm sure I bought something else. Oh, that's right, let's do all. 12 gauge rounds, come on, there we go. And we're going to do this. Oh, hi, Frankie. Here we go. We're going to go all the way to the bottom. We're going to buy the service rifle forged receiver. Because that's going to be important later. Because we're going to find a kick-ass weapon. Never mind. Gotta go. Yep. Later. We're going to find some kick-ass stuff down in the um, down in the sewer. However, we're going to... We're gonna go ahead and wait for morning. Rest to morning. So we're gonna wait 10 hours and we'll go wait. Oh, the most exciting part of the fallout is the waiting. And we're gonna we're gonna go Spelunk Cave near here because there's some more stuff and I can sell it to Frankie. So 627. Hello. Okay, and we are going to what is quick save? Quick save! Alright. Now Again, we're going to fight some coyotes here, and they're just over the hill. Uh, again, we're not playing with needs or anything. Wow, I run like a gimp. <laughs> i got to work on that. But, um, but we don't have... Usually, sometimes you can, there's a cave over here, and sometimes find something good in. And we, however, have to kill these darn coyotes. Come here, coyotes! Coyotes! Where'd you go? Oh. Whoops! Hi! Can we reload already? I guess we did. Boop, boop. Sniping! This guy's fast. Fast? Is he flanking me? Where are you, buddy? Hiding behind a rock? What are you guys doing? Come on, cowards. Lions are cowardly, not dogs. Oh, you're a pup. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no not. Come here, you. Here, puppy, 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 puppy. Come here. Come here. Who's a good coyote? I got some for you. You so do. It's got a shotgun. You don't want any of this? Really? All right. You're missing out, buddy. Oh, hey, yep, fast travel. The Good Springs Cave. Ah, good grief. Shut up. Bullet time, every time. Seriously. What is with this gun? Come on, that's nice. I'm so going to turn that crap off. <laughs> Next episode, no more cinematic kill cam. Ooh, hey. 
lose your head. <laughs> oh. Hello. It's dark in here. It's almost like a cave. Hey, buddy! Good grief. Good grief. All right. All right, we are turning that off. Uh, is that gameplay? Cinematic. None. Thank you. Silly dogs. Save it. Oh, oh, hey, how you doing? What do we got here? Oh, cat eye. Cat eye. Cat eye. If I recall correctly, there's a couple coyotes in here. Loot in the cave. You're exploring the caves around Good Springs. They are full of natural formations of glowing stuff and stalactites and stalagmites. I don't remember which is up and which is. Oh! Doggies! Doggies. Hello, doggies. Hello, puppies. Well, letter AP recharge. Oh, I crippled his legs. But he's dead. Sorry. I'm here to avenge all the people that you have eaten and dragged in your cave and eaten like. Good lord. What did a parade pass by? You just let him in here and ate them all? Look at this. Holy cow. This is drink. Don't mind if I do. Do you mind if I drink your sludge water? Die. Yeah, bullet time's fun. Because my reflexes are terrible. Oh, who do we have here? We have a bright follower. A fellow ghoul. Hello, fellow ghoul. A recharger rifle. Awesome. And a robe. Sorry, but you won't be needing that anymore. How did the coyotes not eat you? Oh, you're a ghoul. Oh, but hey, these people haven't been nommed on. What, what are you doing here, Wastelander? Ooh. I'll leave your clothes. A frag grenade, lad's life. I like your hat, though. I'm taking the hat. Let's go. Ooh, 20 gauge rounds. Nice. Rad X, Wonder Glue. I don't need the tin cup. I'm not playing golf. Oh my goodness. Seriously. Oh, I can't resist. It looks so delicious. Mmm. Gotta love that. Alright, well, we've done, uh, wiped out all the, uh, ew. I mean, really, ew. God. Oh. I guess it's a little narrow for skinny old me. How much? Let's get out of here. How tough is a cave? What a terrible place to be. Glad I killed all the coyotes. That way, no more parades will be eaten. The wasteland will be safe for parades once again. Because everybody likes a parade. Look at that. Oh, this is gorgeous. Just, I gotta do this. Oh, wow. That just looks really good. I have everything on ultra and high. Uh, I just picked up a new processor. I've got this four-year-old video card, but apparently it's more than capable of handling New Vegas, which is kind of nice. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, I can't wear that hat because it's not a child's hat. It's an adult's hat. Well, that's terrible. It makes me feel sad. I mean, not really, but, you know. Jogging. It's good for the soul. <laughs> oh, let's go to our unofficial house. Now, there is an official house. Oh, okay, you guys are going to see this. This is freaking hilarious. See a tumbleweed? Yeah, bye. <laughs> oh, I love tumbleweeds. They're the best thing ever. Ah. Oh. Sorry, that just makes me smile a lot. <laughs> ah, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Tiny Emily, the Tumbleweed Slayer. We're going to get them all. We're going to sneak up on them with our pink fingers. Now, the hands are not missing a texture. They are actually that pink. Usually, I make the skin a little darker, but pff, whatever. Uh, oh, that's right, the schoolhouse. We can go kill all that, that um the 
The things, the bugs, the bugs. Hello, mailbox. Ch -ch 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 Cherry bomb. Get out of here. All right, let's go talk to Retardo the robot here. Hello, robot. What do you have to say? Look at this. I'm talking like a, I'm a girl. Hello, robot. What do you have to say for yourself Howdy, today? Partner. Howdy. Let's not be stereotypical now, Victor. I mean, really. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? What the hell's a fiddle? Thanks for digging me out of that grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. In a wasteland. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. How are they going to know which one's Victor? How'd you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still... Yeah, whatever. Happy... Bone Orchard. Tell me, Victor, are there any old euphemisms you don't know? Whatever. We're going in your shack, buddy. Oof. It's dark. All right, first person, so we can grab the web repair kit. Uh, we don't care about fishing batteries. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah. All right. There we go. Forgot the take all button. There's no, there's nothing in here. I mean, Victor, this is why robots aren't allowed in the bathroom. Seriously? Man, you really need to clean up after yourself. It's terrible. Oh, I totally believe you drink coffee, Victor. Totally believe you drink coffee. Nobody's buying that for a second. I'm Victor. I drink coffee. Bullshit. Ah, oh, excuse me. I've got this frog in my throat. Scrap metal, I believe. Is, that's Victor's shedding. And as I do in real life, turning off the goddamn country. Ugh. I may be in a cowboy land, but I'm not a cowboy. Howdy, partner. Shut up, Victor. Nobody asked you. Ugh, hate that guy. Doo-doo-doo. Doo-doo-doo. Sometimes there's stuff in the mailbox. Nope. Looks like somebody checked this in the last 200 years. So, what to do? Well, we're going to go up here. This right here to our left jog 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 is the house you can buy that's right for five thousand dollars this baby is yours and it's actually a pretty cool house i know i know it doesn't look like much it's kind of a fixer up or you know 200 years at you know wasteland but uh but it, it really has value i think you know it's prime situated it's got a vi good view of the crossroads here uh it's right next to the school for the kids but I'm a ghoul, and I'll never grow any bigger, and uh, my womb will stay shriveled and useless. Because I was 12 when I turned into this thing. How terrible. Alright, what do we got? Let's find out. Do I have... Okay, I am at... Ooh, 180. I should probably sell some. This thing is phenomenal, though. I love this thing. Look at it. It's just... Ugh! 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 Listen to that sound. It just screams power! Ugh! Ugh! Oh. I need a cigarette. Nope. Go. Bam. 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 I'm totally just screwing around here. Uh, all right, let's repair that. Do, 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 do. Miscellaneous aid. Here we go. What this does is it's a mod that repair kits repair themselves. Uh, or I should say, because I own firearms in real life, and anyone who owns firearms in real life will tell you that you do not use up your toolkit when you clean your weapons. You don't. It doesn't happen. And, and realistically, in real life, your guns do not wear out this quickly. But it's it's game, you know. Now, I wouldn't mind buying this house. You know, it's got a... Um, I take it back. This 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 doesn't have much of a view, really. Is he wearing oh he's got a helmet I'm going, what is wrong with his head? So we're gonna head back into the dungeon. Uh, I'm sorry, the sewer. 
Even though it says keep out, we're going to do it. And then later on, we're going to take a, a quest from Frankie. Because Frankie, Frankie, Frankie has quests for us. All right, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Industrial Faith, and we are going to part for the moment. And I'm going to do a little tweaking, then we'll return with episode two of Little Emily wanders around the desert and maybe gets something done. He's going to shoot stuff. I mean, that's good, right? Of course it is. Bam! Like that. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for joining me. I'll see you in episode two.